What's going on, y'all? This is Boy Cap coming to you with another video, and I'm checking in after that doozy of a game for the Western Conference Finals. I mean, what a game, man. The first three games being decided by, what, 20-plus points in each game, and then you get this thriller here in Oracle. Whew. I mean, this is the series that we all thought that was going to happen, <laughs> that we all thought every game would be. Well, maybe not every game, but, you know, we expect we we didn't expect the blowouts in the first three games, you know. So I I just say that. But Houston with a big time gut check win in Oracle. They get it done ninety five to ninety two. Beating the Warriors in Oracle. Warriors first loss since the twenty sixteen finals when LeBron and the Cavaliers won in game seven. Honestly, this was a uh, game of runs that I mean, it was just a game of runs that I got get that the Houston ultimately won in the end. I'll, I'll say it like that. I mean, the first quarter was all Golden State. Um, Golden State comes out with a huge twelve to nothing run to start the game, and then and then, you know that twelve nothing run. I mean, that would break maybe I, I say that'll break maybe at least twenty six or twenty seven of the other twenty nine teams. Uh, when you're facing the Warriors, I mean, but Houston, they 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 they, they stayed in it, man. They stayed in it. Uh, uh, Golden State won the first quarter, 28 to 19. Then Houston had a big time uh, second quarter, especially at that run to end the second quarter. They they won the th second quarter, 34 to 18. And then Steph Curry had another big time, another huge third quarter. I think he had 17. In the third quarter by himself, he had all the shots again, just like he did in game three. The Rockets had 17 points as a team in the third quarter. But then here's my key to the game. I mean, looking at that fourth quarter, I, I only seen the fourth quarter because I was coming in for something else. I'd only seen the fourth quarter of tonight, tonight's game. And let me tell you, the late game execution of the, <clears throat> of the Houston Rockets in – the late game blunders of the Warriors, the champs. That that was crazy. It, 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 it was unbelievable to watch. I mean, you know, it was like both teams kind of switch. You know, kind they they, they kind of they, they kind of. I'm trying. I'm trying to think. Of what I'm I'm well, I'm trying to think of uh, the word that I'm, that, I'm, that I'm thinking of. Okay, they they reverse roles. I'll say that Houston usually the isolation team. You give it to Chris Paul. You give it to uh, James Harden. You let them. Dribble, 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 and then create a shot on their own. Houston, uh, uh, they 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 had some really good. Uh, I'm not gonna say movement because they was the ISO, but it was pick and pick and roll, pick and pop with Eric Gordon. Eric Gordon hit a, hit a, hit a, hit some big shots in the fourth quarter, uh, and then uh, and then Golden State. I mean, they went ISO ball. Golden State went ISO ball, and the Rockets' defense at the end of the game. J James Harden playing defense, like what? What? What is the world coming to? I mean, all game he had some key steals, and he picked Kevin Durant's pocket. He picked uh, uh I think he picked Steph's pocket once. Played some beautiful defense on Steph Curry, not allowing him to go to his right hand when he tried to iso dribble, uh, uh dribble and uh, 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 rock the man to sleep. Uh, Harden played some great. Uh, get up in your defense, if, 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 if you will. But yeah, the, the late game execution by the Rockets, offensively and defensively, was huge. And uh, get, get on the other side, the Warriors' offensive and defensive execution was not very was not very good. I mean, especially for them being at home. I mean, in big time playoff basketball, I mean, you hear all the analysts on TNT, all the analysts on ESPN, you hear them all say it. The uh, when you're on the road, your star or stars have to have to step up big, and that's exactly what happened for the for for the Houston Rockets tonight. Houston's two stars stepped up: James Harden, and Chris Paul. They combined for 57 points of the 95 points for uh, the the Rockets. They didn't didn't get a lot of help scoring, but they got got help in other ways though. Harden had 30, Paul had 27. Eric Gordon off the bench again. 
he comes up big, 14 points. Like I said, he had to hit a couple of big shots in the fourth quarter. Uh, really didn't shoot that well. He's showing shot four of 14. But hey, when you when you when you when you when you make them count, you, you know, I mean, you can you can have a you can have a horrible shooting night, but you know, you, you just gotta make them count. And that's exactly what uh, Gordon did. I mean, he had a, he had some big shots late. Uh, I think he get a couple of big shots, big three pointers late in that game. And it was some, some uh, great, some great uh, rebounding late by uh, Capella and uh, T, uh, PJ Tucker. Uh, Tucker with uh, was it sixteen rebounds? He only had four points, but sixteen rebounds for what, he's, he's like what six nine, six eight, six nine. I mean, in there fighting with Draymond and uh, uh, Kevon Looney, that's huge, man. That, that's huge. I mean, you know, when, when you can't get it done in scoring, you you, you get it done in other ways. And that was huge. That was that was a, that was, those sixteen rebounds were huge for Houston tonight. Capella only scored eight, but he had thirteen rebounds as well. I mean, when you get the when you crash them boards, man, especially the defensive rebounds, they both had twelve. Him, both him and Tucker had twelve defensive rebounds each. So when you can get those defensive boards, man, it it, it helps out. It gives you gives it gives you possessions that doesn't give Golden State extra possessions. You know. Just, 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 just huge, man. Going back to the uh, old playoff cliches, I was talking about how this, your stars have to step up on the road. But on the other hand, when you're at home, your role players have to help your stars win the games at home because that's where you're comfortable. You're more comfortable playing. You, you have the home crowd behind you. And tonight, Golden State didn't get enough from the supporting cast. I mean, of course, the stars stepped up. Uh, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, Steph Curry continuing from his game three, uh, game three resurrection, if, if, if you if you will, twenty eight points, six rebounds for Steph Curry. Uh, again, had that big third quarter where he didn't miss well, again where he didn't miss a shot. Scored seventeen points, seventeen this twenty 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 eight. Um, in the fourth quarter, he. He went cold, man. He went cold. He couldn't. He couldn't get one to fall again. Credit James Harden for some really good defense on Curry in the, in that final quarter. Durant had twenty seven points, twelve rebounds, but he only shot nine of twenty four from the field. Both guys shot horrendous from the field, and KD he he also had shots in that fourth quarter that was questionable. He had he had that tough leaning. Um, Far away shot for uh, 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 I think uh, Chris was it Chris Paul that was guarding him. He had a tough one, but then a uh, Chris Paul got up in him for another uh, shot as well that he missed, which which, which I which I questioned him taking that shot anyway. It was a three pointer, uh, way early in the shot clock. So yeah, some real questionable shots from, from the champs down the stretch in that fourth quarter, and uh, again. Big ups to Houston's defense because Houston, I ain't gonna say they locked them locked them up, but I mean you know Houston played their ass off defensively to end that game. And of course, uh, the big news that was coming into this game, Andre Iguodala, uh knee soreness, and then it was something else. Couldn't play tonight. Uh, you know he's the fifth member. Fifth member of the starting five, the the death lineup or the Hamptons five, if you if you will. Kevon Looney stepped up in his place. He had four point six rebounds on the night. Jordan Bell had six. Uh, Sean Livingston had four. Uh, Nick Young only had two points. Yeah, the the role players couldn't get it done. Now, of course, the big story in this game was the injury to uh, Clay Thompson. Thompson only had ten points, four of thirteen shooting. Again, he uh, so it was it the third quarter? Was it the third quarter? I forget when he or the second quarter. I forget when he. I forget when he did it. But uh, uh, he was he went up for a rebound. Excuse me, went up for a layup. Uh, Capella actually blocked the shot, but then Capella comes down on uh Thompson's right leg, and he kind of bent a little bit, uh, and uh, he had to go out of the game. He did come back and finish the game. Uh, ah, I mean, yo, 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 yo was not nothing serious. But I mean, of course, he came back and finished the game, so it can't be that serious. But uh, 
I mean, you 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 have a. I mean, they don't have they don't have the three days off like they did, you know, from last Wednesday to Sunday. They don't have the three days off. They got to come back and play on Thursday for Game Five. So, and plus you have a travel day. You travel back to Houston as well. So, we'll see. We'll see how Clay Thompson looks uh, as far as Game Five goes. And of course, Jeremiah doesn't score doesn't 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 score too many. You know, he had eleven tonight. He had thirteen rebounds. Eight assists, almost another triple double. You know, Draymond again. You know the the uh, the uh, all around guy, the uh, the the defensive anchor of the team. But ooh, that boy James on put him on a poster, boy. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, that was that was real nice, man. But last thought uh, before I wrap up this video, I did pick the Warriors in six. Uh, it still could happen. It still could happen. But I mean, I just think this is a huge win for Houston in in Oracle in Golden State. Uh, now making it, making it, uh, now tying the series up at two two, making it the best of three series with two of them in Houston. So uh, Houston's going back home with the momentum. Uh, I mean, not only this win, but the win, but the way they played in Game Two. When they had Trevor Reza, when they had PJ Tucker step up offensively to help out Harden and CP3, so we'll see, man. We'll see. Uh, Houston looks like an early favorite in Game Five. Uh, still don't count the champs, though. They'll 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 fix their their mistakes. They won't. I I I expect better late game execution from the Warriors to uh, uh, in Game Five than it was to, tonight. I think I think the Warriors kind of. I think they kind of let let they fill off the gas. I think they they they, they kind of expected the the Houston to implode because uh, they, they well, the Houston was down what what twelve going in ten ten going into the fourth quarter, and uh, I, I I think I think uh, Golden State was just looking looking for the looking for the uh, the dagger shot, and they just couldn't get it. And the war uh, the the Houston kept fighting back, and then they eventually took the lead, and then they eventually finished. Uh, but yeah, I just think the Warriors just looking for a dagger shot, too many dagger shots, and none of them fell, none of them fell for him. Uh, again, big comeback by Houston in the fourth quarter, big time road win. Like I said, you, not not many not many teams are, are winning in Oracle uh, at this time of year. I Man, I can I can only remember uh, only two two teams really having success in Golden State since 2015. Of course, that's LeBron and Cleveland. And uh, KD's Oklahoma City Thunder. <coughs> Stick ass. But I'm going to wrap up with this video right here, man. Appreciate y'all watching. Let me know what you thought about Game 4. Let me know what you think about the rest of the series. I appreciate y'all watching, and I'll see y'all next time.